here this afternoon between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Get ready for Dodger baseball next on the show. Walker Bueller gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn Leading things around in this one here today. That brings up the Alec Bohm, base. and we Alec. are ready for some daytime Bohm. baseball. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. And that's the first down. With that, here's the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, you take a look at this lineup and one thing jumps out. The fact that there is a ton of swing and miss up and down the lineup. They lead the league in strikeouts, and I'll tell you what, could become a big problem today if this guy's hitting the outside corner. Here now is Adam Hazley. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Dero, Danny, this L.A. Dodger ball club as they enter play here this afternoon. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Hey, Matty V, we're taking a look at a team right here, Dero. Through five games of this homestand, they're three and two. I know they were expecting more, but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to four and two on this homestand. Yeah, this is an important one right here. You don't want to go 500 first six games, especially at home. On the road, you can deal with it. At home, this is a must win. Two balls on the strike. One out, nobody on. Three and one now. Trouble waiting on deck as Bryce Harper hits next. The three and one pitch. And he lays off here, ball four. And he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Man, the pitcher's wondering that how he third. didn't get that call. The right Busted him inside three. on a 3-1 count. Right. And the ump thought it was just a tad Harper. off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. Here's Bryce Harper now, looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. First pitch on its way. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. That evens it up one and one. Fouled off. Here comes the one two. That's it. Ball two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. And he ball takes count. ball three, three so two. it's a full count now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Payoff pitch home. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down that in the zone, it. hoping the for first a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch Reed selection to Austin. go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. Grounder down the line at third. And a foul ball here, 0-1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Hoskins.
Haskins behind to count 0-2. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Paisley is off of first with two away. Fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a fastball swung on, missed, and that is out number three. One left for Philadelphia. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. Chase Anderson gets the starting assignment for the Phillies. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. Well, it's not Johnson. easy having an ERA right under four in baseball. Okay. He's slightly over that, but this yeah. guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Now here's the first offering. Mookie Betts is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. Dan D. Rowe, these Phillies as they begin play here today. 4-2 over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, D. Rowe? Trying to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of this series and had a nice bounce-back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal a series right here. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. 2-1 two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. Upper part of the strike zone, a dangerous pitch with the changeup, but he laid off. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. So he punches him out looking second. at the fastball. Now third base Vince is dealt Just with for the first out in the bottom of the Turner. inning. At the plate, Justin Turner. He gets it hard on the ground with the left. And there are two away now. That is good. Now a moment for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, one thing's for sure. They love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. One ball, no strikes to count. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. 2-0. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Three and one is the count to the Dodgers shortstop. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Batting four. The center fielder. 
Cody. So here's Cody Bellinger. Bellinger. Drilling three runs on three hits so far in the series. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Here's the circle change and a dandy that time as he jumps ahead with strike one. Hey, that's a huge set to tone pitch right there. To a great hitter, you do not want to fall behind 1-0 and have him sitting all over a fastball or guessing what you throw next. You get ahead 0-1, and now the count's in your favor, and you and your catcher can start doing some things. Here's the 1-1. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Dodgers leave one, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The shortstop, Didi Gregorius. First pitch on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Now a ball and a strike. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And now a curveball that's blowing in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Philly shortstop in front of the count, three and one. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And don't forget, he lost his last time out. So he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Counts one and zero. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And it's fouled away. Gregorius gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now a swing and a miss and McCutcheon is set down for route number one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted that, it nicely that, down around the, the bottom of the zone. JT. And when you do that, especially yeah, with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Into the box now, JT Realmuto. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The 1-0. Well, they're certainly letting you know as an offensive unit that they're going to be patient. As a pitcher on the mound right now, 
you have to recognize that and start attacking in the zone early. And set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Dero, this Gary Simmons, he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah, I'm okay with it, though, Dan. You want to go east-west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north-south that'll kill you. Gene Segura, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Here it comes, the 3-0. Hey. He must know something we don't know. That was a center cut eater with count leverage in a big spot. I, I don't understand why he's taking it. The three and one pitch. And he nope. lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. He could get the early hook if he can't be a little bit more precise here. Baseman. That's walk number Gene. two of the inning, and Segura. we're only in the second. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. He's set and the pitch. Yeah. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. No score here as we play inning number two. And he fouls this one off. Oh and two, here it comes. He swung on and missed four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0-2, right? Not. You have to protect the, the fastball. Pitcher. You have Jake. to look for the soft stuff and down and away. Said. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. Into the box, Chase Anderson. As he'll take a look at ball one. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Ready with the 1-0. One, -oh. one ball, one strike to count. Muncie into foul territory, and this will wind up a foul ball. In and now he's in a one and two hole. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in the run. The set and the one two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Through an inning and a half, no score on the show. for the second set to go, to go. and that will bring Dawson. up A.J. Pollock. The left fielder, A.J. Pollock. First pitch of the A.B. now. Hey. Wind up and the 0 1. Fouled off. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fouled away. The next 0 2. Hard on the ground to short. And that will be the first base hit of the ball game for the Dodgers. Well, that's just a case deal. You got to make a little bit better 
got it. Two with two strikes, jumps the ahead, 0-2, and then Man. a couple of foul balls are on pitch Monty. number five. He squares one up for a base hit. Yeah, I can't tell you how nice that feels right there. You battle to get and count leverage and fight to get your A swing off. 0-2, you're almost turned around walking back hey. to your dugout, so that's a nice oh, piece of it. Max Muncy is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. One and one to the Dodgers first baseman. His lifetime batting line against Chase Anderson. He's hitless in three at bats. Good breaking ball there laid off for the second strike. Hey that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. What I liked about the all of those baseman. pitches, what they yeah, were man. down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. And prior to the first no, pitch, you look to first, and the runner back easily. The batter will be Gavin Lux as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Pollock leads off first with one away. Now a throw over and he'll get back in safely. The 1-0 is looked at for the first strike. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. The one-two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single that into scoring position. The yeah, clearly Austin. no problems working out of the stretch Bar. right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. So here's Austin Barnes as he takes a called strike on the black. It's 0-1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And that misses 1-1. One one. Bottom of the second here with no score. And there he goes towards second. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Trying to move into scoring position with two away, but not to be as we get another look. Two complete. Still scoreless here on the show. Top of the third set to get underway. And that will bring up Alec Bohm. The third baseman. Alec Bohm. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, Four strike one. one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Behind 0-2 now. Oh, and he turns on this fastball and sends it out to deep left field. And I would say he got just about all of that one as this ball is gone, a home run. A solo shot here to left, fourth home run for him on the season, and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Yeah, and if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. The battle. In now, Adam Hazley. Adam 
Paisley. And it's fouled away. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. 10 home runs, 27 driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope. If you're on the mound right here, you got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. Swing and a loop to the left. Seeger onto the grass, but he won't get there. It falls in. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, right stay field. square as long right. as possible, right. and feed it into the opposite Perfect. field for a base hit. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. He sends it on the ground to first. There's one. Over to Muncie, and they double him up. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He'll watch one miss down and in for a ball. 1 and 0. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1 0. All do. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Now the 2 0. He's in there for strike one. Hey, you could tell right there the hitter was almost fooled by that pitch, expecting the nasty slider to break down and away, and it hung in the middle of the plate, too late for him to pull the trigger. Can't find his own there, and it's three and one. Didi Gregorius would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Three and one pitch. Takes a strike for a full count now. Three and two. Three two and he fouls this one off. Sent out to straightaway center field. Bellinger's under it, and that will end the inning. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. We played two and a half. It's now one nothing Philadelphia. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher Austin Barnes. The catcher. Austin. First offering. Ball. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding so. This one's down to third. He's got it. And the throw first is in time. One gun. Batting Not a lot you can do no with that pitch. That fastball Walker. just ate him up inside. You learn. He gets the soft grounder for the out. So one out and nobody aboard. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Walker Bueller. Now the first pitch. In there, 0-1. Inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Two and one. 
certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. The 2-1 home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hazley is there, two gone. Now batting, right fielder, Mookie Betts. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Yeah. Hold strike one on the circle change. Good pitch. One and one to the Dodgers leadoff man. Here's the one and one delivery. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. Another one two delivery. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen. When you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so-called pitchers' pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. Smoke toward the hole, and this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Boy, just when you're looking for now one of those shutdown innings, hey, two quick outs, D roll, then you have a two out base hit to no, extend no. the inning. Yeah, you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away an AB. No chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at bat, every plate appearance. Nice job. Maybe a little two out lightning start. In there. Now the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Dodgers go down quietly. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. All set for the start of the fourth. And stepping up is the shortstop, Didi Gregorius. The shortstop, Didi Gregorius. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0 oh, oh, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And that misses two and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Opportunity now to take a look into the some of the future field, plans for the Dodgers as Andrew our Road to the Show report McCutcheon. spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent minor league action. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. Fouled away. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The pitch. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. 
And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, McCutcheon brings a batting average in the low 220s to the table. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. The 2-1 home. And it's fouled away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Line drive to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field. So now to the plate, JT Realmuto. He's he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The 1 0. And he fouls this one off. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Grounded to the right. Throw on to Muncy, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, but they're on top, one to nothing. Now to bat, Justin Turner. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. The third baseman, Justin Turner. Here's the pitch. 0-1 the count. Now the pitch. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Full count now. Now the three and two pitch. And that misses for ball four. The leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. That's an excellent at bat right there. Fell behind yeah, early one and Not two. Didn't panic or start Corey. chasing pitches out of the zone. Seager. He's able to lay off three pitches in a row, and he's standing on first with no outs. That's a great job. Here's Corey Seager. A ball and no strikes. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. The 1-0. -oh. He's taken strike one. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. The center fielder, number 35, Cody Bellinger. Next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. He 
set now the pitch. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. And he lays off the circle change here as he moves into the driver's seat three and one. They know the threat this guy poses at the plate. I know it's a three one in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. The three and one pitch. Finds the zone to fill the count three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that runner at first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. 3 2 pitch. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in the play, fielder, there's a good 11. chance it's on the ground for AJ. a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works Waller. too. At the plate now, AJ Pollock, hey. as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Set to deliver the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. The 0-2 home. Yeah, that's one and two. Seeger, the runner at first with two gone. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Fouled off. Try again, one, two. High in the air, down the right field line. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. One left for L.A. It remains one nothing. Gene Segura standing in. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The second baseman, Gene Segura. Now here's the first offering. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. Now batting, the pitcher, Chase Anderson. At the plate, Chase Anderson. Struck out in his first at-bat. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Now battle. Third baseman, Alec. Bone. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Alec Bone, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. That was a pretty good pitch to that, that last A.B. when he went deep. That was a fastball that was in and off the plate. So that tells me this guy oh, likes the ball no. on that inner half of the plate or even inside off the plate. If I'm on the mound right now, I'm keeping the ball away from this guy. And he'll take this one as well. It's now 2-0 to the Philly third baseman. Now a look and a throw back to second. And he'll dive back in safely.
Ready with the 2-0 pitch. Three Runner at second here with one man out. And oh, not so fast, partner. Called strike on the inside part of the plate. Three and one now. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. And that's low ball four. When a guy homers off you early in the game, the last play, thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do Adam. it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. A couple of runners on base with one down, and Adam Hazley digs in now. First pitch on the way. Nope. Ball one. Count nope. one and oh. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. The one one home. One run on three hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Hit in the air to center field. Bellinger's under it. Two down. The right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. And Bryce Harper will dig into the plate. to keep this a one run game the pitch pull the fastball down a little too much there that's ball one oh, and he misses low with it two and oh great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive with two guys already on pretty good shot he's going to get a challenge pitch right here Segura on second bone at first two out in the inning Side. Three, ball. Three and oh now. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. Hit well on the ground to front. And the end will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Police leave a couple. They lead it one to nothing. Up for the Dodgers, the first baseman, Max Muncy. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. Throws in time, and that's out number one. The batter, number nine, second baseman, Gavin Lux. So bases are empty with one gun, and up next will be Gavin Lux. And now the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now that go a long way to make that running catch. And Austin. here it is again with the show track dead. Up. Took a great angle at it. Showed nice closing speed and ended up running close to 120 feet to bring it in. No doubt that grab saved extra bases. That'll bring in Austin Barnes. 
as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 0 1. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. front of that one but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. Into the windup and the pitch. Ball one. Tried to throw the fastball by him but it's high 1 and 2. If I'm in the box you take a step out right here take a deep breath after that high fastball you've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Here comes the one two. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's something that shouldn't go unnoticed. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Dodgers. They still trail one nothing. Your attention, please. Now New picture coming on Dodgers. now, and it's the former number, number one overall pick from 2007, David, David Price. Right. Stepping in once again is Reese Hoskins. He'll be the one to lead number it off three. against David Price here the in the inning. Base, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Now the first pitch here from Price. Nope, no time. In the right, a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate. Now kept his hands back, Four stayed through the baseball, DD. and delivers a hard hit line drive. Here's Didi Gregorian. He lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. One one misses for the second ball. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right hander up and throwing. Hoskins aboard here at first with nobody out. And this will be fouled away. Now the 2 2. On deck, there's Andrew McCutcheon. He'll hit next. Two pitch. Full count still. He 
Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. From the stretch. Hit hard on the round to second. The second for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Up next so they the what could have been a costly the double play there. Well, they dodged the bullet that time by avoiding the double play. That would have been pretty demoralizing to end the inning. Now they've at least still got runners on the corners. Now, JT Wilmuto. He swings here and sends a chopper to the left side. One there. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Well, they really didn't have a shot at turning two on the high mm. chopper. They only get one, and that allows the runner from third to score. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring in Gene Segura. Price pauses. Here it comes. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. Here comes the 1-0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bellinger's under it, and that will end the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. The Phillies lead it 2 to nothing. Your Will Smith please. is going to come on as a pinch hitter Dodgers. now, so that means we've seen Number last 16. of David Price. Well, Smith. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Uh, got him to swing on top of that one as this ball is dribbled out in front of the mound. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Now back, the right fielder, Mookie Betts. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Mookie Betts. Last time through was a base hit. Here's the first pitch to him. Low, one and oh. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's two and oh now. Hey, if you're gonna throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Hey. Two and one now to Mookie. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Two and two the count. Bases are empty, one man in. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Loud contact by Mookie, and a ball carrying well to left field. And that's a home run into the top tank. A solo home run there for Mookie. Number 13 for him on the year, and the Dodgers are within a run. It's now 2-1. to one. 
Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound, and a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So a good Ladies job all in all this Your afternoon, and as it stands, now he can only win this Philly. one as he departs with a one-run lead. Vince Velasquez, Vince. a right-handed reliever, standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Now standing back. in now, Justin now Turner. Basement. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for Turner. ball one. His lifetime line against Velasquez. He has a three for 12 line. He also has one home run. One run on three hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Lays off again and it's 2-0. and oh. Now a flare out toward right center. Harper coming on, lays out, and he's got it. A great play for route number two. Number five, shortstop, Colby Beezer. Here's Corey Seager. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and all. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. A ball and a strike now. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Dodgers claw back a bit on the solo home run. The nine one and two hitters do up to start the seventh. It's the Phillies two and the Dodgers one. Your Joe Kelly please. is on to pitch from the now bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 17, Joe Kelly. Ronald Torres up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning Ronald number seven. Correa. Ready. Here's the first pitch. I'm set with the 0 and 1. Ball action time. Sinker misses two and two. And this is popped up near second base. And the move to the pinch here will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. The third base. Alec Bone. Alec Bone will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going.
first offering. Easy oh, take there on the sinker, well off the outside. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now here it comes. Changed up on him here and this is grounded to short. Throw gets him, two down. Up next for Philadelphia, the center fielder. Adam Paisley. So two are gone now in the Philadelphia seventh, and Adam Hazley digs in now. From the stretch. Hey. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Two out, nobody on. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Phillies down in over. They still lead it. Two to one. Archie Bradley will take over now on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 23, Archie Bradley. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Next it is the outfielder. Cody Bellinger the down field. by one. I'm interested Cody. to see how they approach this. Bellinger. Especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Outside. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run. Just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. Fouled away. One one. To one and two now. Right, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Two two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Nice job there, taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run -on -one game, especially Eleven. this late, getting AJ. that first guy in the inning is so important. Paula. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. Into the box, AJ Pollock. And it's fouled away. One for two in the ball game thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Big swing at the knuckle curve, gets nothing but air. 0-2 now. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? 
nope. changes up on him there, but it's one and two. That's great recognition right there on the part of the hitter. Not many guys lay off that one. That was a classic strikeout pitch, the 0-2 good change up with some depth. The one-two. One out, nobody on. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Here now the 2 2. No pitcher likes to take the count to 3 and 2, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on 2 and 2. That one wasn't even close. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this Objective inning. Start. That's back-to-back -back days, first base and man. he's making it look man. pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Next up is Max Muncy. The swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. Hoskins is there for it. And that ends the inning. Dodgers down in order. Our score remains 2-1. to one. Scott Alexander has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do now so to start the eighth. The Number 75, Scott Alexander. New inning set to get underway. Digging in is the outfielder, Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. Now the first pitch. Whoa, that pitch is out. Alexander has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Hey. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing? And he's down one and two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking here. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. To two balls and two strikes now. I got to count two and two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Chopped weakly to the right. Another payoff pitch. On, he pops it up. Coming in is Pollock. But he won't get to it. This should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never. And I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game. So if I'm going to keep this streak alive, I'm going to have to do it right now. Reese Hoskins is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. 
Harper leads off second with nobody out. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Fouling off the second one, I gotta step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Off to the right side, should get the runner to third. And a good throw gets him one down. Now batting, the shortstop, Didi Gregorius. Next to stand in is Didi Gregorius. He's working here to bring home that very important insurance run standing at third. First pitch on the way. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Phillies have opened it up now. It's four to one. Every run helps late in the game. And with this one on the board, they're now up three and only need six outs to end it. They've got a little room for error, and I'm sure they'd like to add to that even more if they can. Now back, left field. Stepping in now, Andrew, Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon. That's the first pitch to him, a sinker in the dirt for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here it comes, 1 0. And he fouls this one off. Still only one out in the inning. And he lays off for a ball, 2 and 1. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, two and two. Slow bouncer to the right side. And the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw in two to the first for out number two. Now batting, the catcher, JT Realmuto. Next to hit, JT Realmuto. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. Here's the first pitch. And they hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. 
puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and one after the foul ball there. Game hitting streak so far. Gene Segura is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. Foul tip held on to behind the plate. It's strike two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Here's the 0 and 2. Hit down the line at first. Another 0 2 home. Boy, that's a great take right there. He might have been frozen by that pitch, but it missed by just enough to give him life in this AB. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 2 2. Grounded down the third baseline. Blocked by Turner. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. And as a former pitcher, now I can it. tell you, nothing the is pitcher. more painful than having to get extra outs in an inning. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. Tommy Kingley enters the ball game out now of the pen, for looking the for the Dodgers. final out here in the top number of inning number eight. Tommy Kingley. Scott Kingery will start to loosen Number up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Here's the first pitch. Off-speed pitch just missed inside. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Set and the 1 0 pitch fouled off. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Pollock has a read on it. That's the third out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's now 4-1 to one, Philadelphia. Brandon Kinsler is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Now in the box, Gavin Lux. Leading He's off hitless for in the his Dodgers. two at bats so far. The second baseman, Gavin Lux. He's ready. Here's the first pitch.
set to deliver the 0-1. Oh. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1-1. One, one. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Set to deal on two and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And a step on first himself for the out. Now that. Time to give the you a look now at the numbers okay. for our two starting pitchers and really Four. nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. So next to hit is Austin Barnes. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Yeah. And he gets ahead 0-1. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Little chopper back to the mound. And that's the second out. The pitcher, number 44. Chris Your attention, Taylor please. We'll grab a bat and hit for the pitcher. The number three, Chris Taylor. First offering. 1 0. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. One and one the count now. Now the pitch. Hold him. Fouled away. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They trail it four to one. Corey Knable enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Corey Knable. Set to start the ninth in this one, and set to go as the third baseman, Alec Bowman. Third baseman, Alec Bowman. He's set, here it comes. That's popped up, Muncie in foul ground, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting, the center fielder, Adam Hazley. At the plate now is Adam Hazley. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point.
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And foul. Bases are empty. One man out. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Fouled away. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. The next one two pitch. Swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Not a lot of guys pull that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success like with it. Some three. say it has more bite right. than a traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. And now Bryce Harper has the first pitch here's a bit high. It's ball one. He's got one hit in four at bats. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. One that misses now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. Now the pitch. Strike, two called, and it's even a two. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And this one misses for ball four. So the Phillies have got themselves a two out base runner. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. From the stretch. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Now a move over to first. And a dive, but he's back. On its way. Harper leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Hey. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. He gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. Now they're going to need to string some hits together. 
together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Nothing in the Philadelphia ninth. Last chance coming up for the guys in blue. They trail here four to one. Your Roberto Ozuna please. enters the game to now finish this one off here three. in the bottom of the ninth. Number 54, Roberto Ozuna. Mickey Betts back at the plate now, and he's been the entire offense so far with the solo homer he hit earlier. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 1. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack. But also, the guy on the mound's got to eat, too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Set to deliver the 0-1. One one. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. One, one. Swung on and missed for strike number two. He's alive here as he gets a piece of this, and in turn, he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate. The one two pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Stepping in next, Justin Turner. No hits to this point. Turner. First offering. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1 0. Count now a ball and a strike. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. Oh. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around at strike three. Well, you have to be pretty Number confident five. about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Corey. Two hitters, two strikeouts Seager. from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. At the plate, Corey Seager. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 for him to this point. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Slapped hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting by your three hole guy right there. First What's two guys, field not field so field much. Field. Now they bring up the monster. Go to hold with two outs. Bellinger. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. And he'll oh, take a look at ball one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Weakly hit towards first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. 
anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. Philadelphia led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Chase Anderson with his fourth win this season. Roberto Ozuna records the save, his ninth of the year. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com.